Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and it's good to see you all again. For those of you who are new to the channel, please take this time to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And, and for those of you who've been with us continuously, thank you so much, especially to Sanal Maharelli for recruiting some of her subscribers to come and subscribe to the channel. As I mentioned in the past video, any monetization that comes through YouTube will be given 100% to feed the hungry and clothe the naked throughout the world. And we need about a thousand subscribers and some view time uh, from you all in order to become monetized. So please share the channel with your friends on your other pages and I'd most appreciate it. Happy Day of Atonement to you all. And for this discussion, I'll be uh, sharing information about uh, the uh, Rosh Hashanah, about the Feast of Trumpets. And so let's get started. It is the first of the fall or autumn feast on the Hebrew calendar and is known as the Feast of Trumpets. The Hebrew people refer to it as Rosh Hashanah, which literally means head of the year. So happy, happy new year. It is the Jewish New Year's Day and is celebrated on the first two days of their month Tishri or September. Okay, and the, the book of Leviticus chapter 23 verse 24 paraphrase phrase discuss uh, Rosh Hashanah is the first of a 10-day period during which God's people enter into self-examination and repentance, known as the 10 days of Ah, which conclude on Yom Kippur, or the Day of Atonement, which begins this evening, Sunday evening. And so uh, let's continue on here. Rosh Hashanah, also known as Yom Hadin, or the Day of Judgment, God opens the books of life and death, which are then sealed on Yom Kippur. Again, Yom Kippur is the same as the Day of Atonement, which begins this evening. And so let's go to uh, the book of Leviticus chapter 23, beginning at verse 26 and ending at verse 32. The Lord said to Moses, the 10th day of this seventh month is the day of atonement. Hold a sacred assembly and deny yourselves and present an offering made to the Lord by fire. Do no work on that day because it is a day in atonement when atonement is made for you before the Lord your God. Anyone who does not deny himself on that day must be cut off from his people. I will destroy from among his people anyone who does any work on that day. You shall do no work at all. This is to be a lasting ordinance. For the generations to come, wherever you live, it is a Sabbath of rest for you, and you must deny yourselves from the evening of the ninth day of the month until the following evening, you are to observe your Sabbath. And so it says anywhere you live, which means the United States, it does, it's not, uh, does not only mean Israel, it's not only meant for the Jewish people. So let's continue on in this discussion so we can get a broader insight into exactly what it means okay turn to the book of ephesians chapter 2 verses 11 to 13 and it states don't forget that you gentiles used to be outsiders you were called uncircumcised heathens by the jews who were proud of their circumcision even though it affected only their bodies and not their hearts in those days, you were living apart from Christ. You were excluded from citizenship among the people of Israel, and you did not know the covenant promises God made to them. You lived in this world without God and without hope, but now you've been united with Christ Jesus. Once you were far away from God, but now you've been brought near to him through the blood of Christ. And praise God for the sacrifice that was made for us all. And in looking at the sacrifices, you can see Leviticus chapter 17 and verse 11, where the priest, let's just read what it says. For the life of a creature is in the blood, and I have given it to you to make atonement for yourselves on the altar. It is the blood that makes atonement for one's life. Okay, that's in the book of Le Leviticus, and that's talking about when the priests of old, the, in the ancient times, used to slaughter animals and make sacrifices for the atonement and for the forgiveness of their sins before God. But God has given us the lamb, uh, the lamb, our Lord Jesus, the lamb that was slaughtered for us all, that uh, awesome blood, his awesome body that was given for us all as a sacrifice that we too are engrafted with God's holy people with the Jews and so we have every right to take part of the covenant the new covenant that God provided for us 
through the blood of Jesus. He's provided us with a multitude of Bible verses concerning uh, this atonement, the Bible verses that we can utilize in praying for our family members, for our lo loved ones, for our households. And there are a multitude of Bible verses that you can look up, that you can research, that deal with uh, the blood of Jesus. And some of those Bible verses include, as I'm searching frantically for them, I did. Here they are, anyway. Uh, the blood of Jesus, okay, Matthew chapter 26. Read the entire chapter. And Colossians chapter 1, verse 20, 1 John chapter 1, verse 7, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 7, Revelations chapter 11, verse 11, Revelations chapter 1, verse 5, Revelations chapter 5, verse 9, Revelations chapter 7, verse 14, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 13. There are a multitude, I have about 10 more I've listed, a multitude of Bible verses that uh, qualify as our covenant that we can stand on, that we can claim, that we can confess over our loved ones, our household, over the world, over the nations, and on, especially on this uh, day, most holy day according to the Jews uh, on their Jewish calendar, uh, one of their most holy days where we can proclaim the word of God uh, that contains the blood of Jesus, even other Bible verses, but these specifically deal with the blood of Jesus and the covenant that we have through the blood of Jesus for the remission of our sins, for our atonement. The, the atonement that he made when he was slaughtered and crucified on that cross. And we give thanks to you, Lord, in the name of Jesus for that awesome sacrifice. And for more uh, in-depth Bible teaching uh, concerning the holy days, the feasts, uh, please tune in to uh, Reverend Robert Clancy. He's out of Australia. His, the correct spelling of his last name is C-L-A-N-C-Y. And he goes in greater depth into these teachings also, he set up an agenda for the uh, Rosh Hashanah, for Yom Kippur, as far as uh, fasting and praying is concerned. He has Bible teachings that you can read, Bible verses, and videos that you can tune into. Also, another a great uh, ministry that you should tune into on YouTube is Revelation of Jesus Christ Ministries. I believe uh, the pastor's name is Pastor Weeks or Pastor Works, but if you Google Revelation of Jesus Christ Ministries, he will pop up. Tune into his teachings, some of the most profound and beautiful teachings you'll find uh, concerning the feast and concerning uh, various other topics. So for those of you who are new to the channel, our channel is also known as the Soul Station, where we like to extend the uh, uh, invitation for a salvation. Romans 10, 9 states, if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. What better time to do that than now during these perilous days that we're living in, except Christ is your savior, your savior this day, what a beautiful day of remembrance it would be on the feast the day of atonement where you come before him, you lay down your life before him and you ask him into your heart and he will uh, rest assured, he will change your life. He will do a great and marvelous work in your life. And again, a concerning Vogue resale, we're making some mighty, mighty advancements and we're excited about being able to come to you from location site at Vogue resale very soon. I love you all. Please accept Christ as your Savior. Deny yourselves this day, during this day of atonement, through prayer and fasting, uh, through repentance, and not just for yourself, but your household members, for the nations, and do pray for the upcoming election. In Jesus' name, I thank you, Lord, for all of these subscribers. I thank you, Lord, for the forgiveness of our sins, for the sacrifice you made. Thank you that we can honor your holy days, and namely this Feast of Atonement, Yom Kippur. I love you all. Peace to you all. And have a most beautiful, happy Day of Atonement in the name of Jesus.